Hey there, welcome back to Coding Stuff and this is sixth part of our Instag blog app and in this video we'll start to save a post in our Firebase and if you like the tutorials you can subscribe to the channel and that will encourage me to make more tutorials okay so let's just start with adding progress bar to our layout so I will drag it over here and we'll constrain it horizontal in parent and to the image view as well as to the edit text and let's just change its id to post progress bar refractor and we'll grab it over here so private progress bar let's name it as m progress bar and we'll find its id post progress bar and we'll make it invisible at the start so set visibility and this will be view dot invisible and now we'll add on click listener to this image view so m post image dot set on click listener new on click listener and over here we can copy some code from our setup profile ok so this one will already have the permission so we don't need to ask it again and I will paste it over here we will set the aspect ratio to the 3 comma 2 and the activity will be add post activity dot this and again we can add set minimum crop result size and this will be 512 to 512 so this will do the job of picking image from the gallery let me just minimize this and we'll override on activity result method so again here we'll check if the request code is equals to crop image dot crop image activity request code and then crop image dot activity results let's create one result equals to crop image dot get activity result and here we'll pass the data and again we'll check if the result code is equals to result okay this one then we need to create one URI so private post image URI ok this should be URI let's just alt enter it so we will import the class so here we can store that image URI so post image URI equals to result sorry result dot get URI and we will put semicolon over here and then we'll set this URI to our image view. So I'm post image dot set image URI and we'll pass this URI over there. And again you can just handle else condition here. So I'll say if the result code is equals to crop image dot crop image activity result error code, then we can display one toast as a result dot get error dot to string ok so that's it for the on activity result so now we'll start to save this data in our firebase so for that we'll require firebase storage sorry we'll require storage reference and let's just name it as a storage reference then we'll require the firebase Firebase Firestore, let's name it as a Firestore and again we Firebase Auth, let me name it as Auth and again we require the string current user ID and we'll put semicolon over here. So let's just initialize all of them first. Storage reference equals to Firebase Storage dot get instance dot get reference and then we have Firestore to firebase firestore dot get instance then we have auth 
so firebase auth dot get instance and we'll put same column over here and the current user id will be auth dot get current user dot get uid and we'll put same column over here so now we'll add on click listener to our add post button so m add post button dot set on click listener new on click listener and first of all we'll just collect that caption so string caption and this will be m caption text dot get text dot to string and again we'll have one check if the caption is not empty yes, empty and the uri that is post image uri should not equals to null then we can proceed to save our data into firebase storage so again what we can do as soon as our m our add post button has been clicked we can visible our progress bar so i am progress bar dot set visibility and this will be visible and in the f we will create another storage reference and let me name it as post ref and this will come from storage reference dot child and this child and this child will be post images and then we'll have another child so that will be field value dot server timestamp server timestamp and dot to string we can concatenate this with the jpeg so jpg and we'll put same column over here then we'll use this post strip and we'll use put file here we'll pass the image uri so post image uri and then we can have complete listener to this new on complete listener and we'll put same column over here so now first we'll handle this if condition okay so we'll have else over here so we'll display one toast here so that will be this add image let's add image and write to caption that's it and then in the on complete method we'll first check if the task is successful again we'll have else to this and we'll display one toast that will be task dot get exception dot get message so till this code will successfully store the image in firebase storage then we have to add the url of this image and also some fields like the timestamp and the current user id so we'll store that in cloud firestore so first of all we'll get the download uri from this post rep so get download uri url and then we'll add on success listener to this new on success listener and we'll have semicolon over here so we'll create one hash map over here and that will be string string comma object name it as a map or post map new hash map and we'll put semicolon here so first of all we'll add the uri here so post map dot put and the key will be image and the value will be uri dot to string and then i'll put semicolon so post map dot put will add the user so field will be user and this will be current user id i'll put same column over here then post map dot put and this will be caption and this will come from the caption then post map dot put this will be time time and this will be field value dot server timestamp and we'll put same column over here so now we'll store this data in our firestore so firestore, firestore dot collection will create one collection that will be post and then we'll set this data so for that we'll use add because we have the object so post map and then we can have complete listener to this we'll put semicolon over here again we'll check here if the task is successful so task dot is successful we'll have else to this that will display one toast that will come from task dot get action dot to string and here we'll just display one toast post 
added successfully let me just cut this line and so just after the post uh, saved successfully we can start the activity so start activity this will new intent and add post activity dot this to main activity dot class and we'll write finish here okay so that's it i think uh, we have to work on the progress bar so it is visible till okay. so it is visible over here then this is the if we got We'll make it invisible here so m progress bar dot set visibility and this will be invisible and this f if the task is successful not here we'll make it invisible over here so m progress bar dot m progress bar dot set visibility this will be invisible again we'll just make it invisible here and again over here so i'm progress bar dot set visibility and this will be invisible so everything is fine uh, we can make our post image URI as null initially so equals to null so uh, everything is fine now we can hit on the run button and we'll check our app is working or not so this hash map uh, like this all fields image user caption and type time will be helpful when we'll retrieve the data so it's installed so you can see the main activity and the fab button so i will hit on the fab button now and we need to change background and we have to set toolbar title okay we'll do that but first of all i will hit on the image view and as you can see it is taking me to the gallery so i'll select this image and so it's working fine and then i will write here wow okay we need to change this text color as well so i will hit on the add post we, do, we don't need to change the text color so post added successfully and again we'll check that in our and we'll check that in our firebase as well but before that we'll fix this design like we just need to change the background to color white and we need to set toolbar so we'll have that code from here so i'll just copy this and our on create method over here we'll paste it so private will create one toolbar that will come from android x and let's name it as post toolbar and we'll put semicolon we'll find its id so post toolbar equals to find with id r dot id dot post add post toolbar and i will put semicolon over here so we need to change this to post toolbar and instead of instag we'll write here add post okay so so as you can see app has been installed and i will hit on the fab button so now everything is fine uh, add post toolbar title and background is also white and the text color is black okay so now what i will do i'll just minimize this and we'll open our firebase console and i will hit on the cloud fire store open in new tab and storage as you can see the post image uh, child has been added over here and this is the timestamp that we have so you can see it's the same image that we have uploaded and over here you can see the post so you can see the post and this is the random id that we get from when we use dot add so we get the document as random and then we have this caption wow and image timestamp and the the current user so let me just copy this 
and I will paste it over here. So you can see the same image that we have uploaded. So it's working pretty fine. And let's just run again. So hit on the add post and I will add another image. Let me select this. Crop. And I will hit on the add post button. So post added successfully and we'll check in our cloud fire store as well as fire storage. So as you can see the two post has been up uploaded over here. So this is the second one and over here so we have two documents now and we have the same user id let me show you this will be helpful when we will retrieve the data and again you can just copy this and i will paste it over here okay we paste the wrong one So you can see the same image that we have uploaded. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll start to retrieve those post images and we'll start to retrieve all this data. Okay, so do subscribe and thank you for watching.